We are here with state economist David Cook to hear about employment figures for December. David, can you give us a summary of Oregon's employment situation? Oregon's unemployment rate dropped to 3.7% in December from 3.9% in November. And then we saw payroll employment going up by 800 jobs in December, following a gain of 3,800 jobs as revised for November. How does the low unemployment rate compare with historical figures? So this 3.7% figure in December is the lowest on record for Oregon. And those records go back to 1976. So we're very low historically. The rate had been around 4% for about three years, but we've dropped below that as in terms of the December number. So switching gears to jobs, what did Oregon's December figures look like? So what we saw in December for non-farm payroll employment was a gain of 800 jobs overall. And the gains were led by leisure and hospitality, which added 2,000 jobs. And then most of the industries were pretty flat, ranging from plus or minus 500 jobs. But we did see some drops in a couple of industries. We saw professional and business services dropping by 1,600 jobs, and then healthcare and social assistance cutting 900 jobs. And those are one month changes. What happened with jobs in 2019 as a whole? So if we look at the 12 months ending in December 2019, the most recent 12 months we have, we saw that total non-farm payroll employment grew by 1.4%, and that's adding 27,100 jobs over that period. So the 1.4% growth rate exactly matches the U.S. growth rate of 1.4% over those 12 months. And during that time, most of the industries were growing about 1%, but we did have healthcare and social assistance adding 7,000 jobs, and that grew 2.7%. So that industry added the most jobs of the major industries. And then a few of the smaller industries did grow by about 3%, and those included private educational services, transportation, warehousing, and utilities, and healthcare and social assistance. Now, on the downside, we did see a couple of industries cut back but only by a few hundred jobs. We had retail down 700 jobs over that 12-month period, and we saw mining and logging down 300 jobs. So what we're seeing overall is a moderation in growth. We're seeing slower growth than what we saw the prior several years, but still at 1.4%, we're matching the U.S. growth rate. What does all this mean for Oregon's economy? So Oregon's economy is experiencing a very tight labor market right now. We have several indicators that are, that are corroborating this. For example, the number of people employed short term, in other words, excuse me, unemployed for the short term, in other words, less than half a year, is at record lows over the past 18 years or so. And the number of people unemployed for less than half of a year dropped to 64,300 in December. Similarly, we have very low number of people unemployed due to a job loss, the lowest in about 20 years. And the number of people unemployed due to job loss was 27,600 in December. And then the third metric that I'll talk about is something called U6, and it's a broad measure of labor underutilization. It includes the people unemployed plus people who are employed part-time for economic reasons. So they want a full-time job, but they're only working part-time. That rate was 7.8%, also the lowest in 20 years for Oregon.